So in this video, I'm gonna answer the question, can I take testosterone and DHEA together? Now, this video is mainly on DHEA, but a lot of it does apply to pregnenolone as well. There are separate effects of pregnenolone that I don't talk about in this video, but some of the things do overlap. We're gonna look at some of the benefits of DHEA and why one would consider taking it in conjunction with testosterone and why you might not want to do that necessarily. So if you like this type of information, click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like it. If you're finding these videos helpful, you may be interested in making a donation to the channel. I've set up a way for you to do that. You just click on the main Southwest Integrative Medicine icon and that will take you to the main YouTube page for Southwest Integrative Medicine. On the upper right side, there's a little link for a PayPal account and you can make a donation any, any amount that you want. Obviously encourages the continuation of making these videos more comprehensive information. And if you do decide to do that, it's always appreciated. In this video, we're going to answer the question, can I take testosterone and DHEA together? The short answer to this question is yes, you can. But what we want to look at is why someone would take DHEA and testosterone together and also why you would take DHEA in general. What are you going to get out of it? We also want to look at some potential downside effects of taking DHEA and testosterone together. As I see it, there are two, two general reasons why people would take DHEA, or maybe a third as well uh, for females. But the two main reasons uh, across the board is for increased testosterone production and adrenal support, which is kind of a general term, but the idea is that by supplying more DHEA, the adrenal glands do not have to produce as much on their own. And DHEA then goes on to get converted into testosterone through two enzymes. As long as those enzymes are working properly and turned on, then you will get more androstenedione, which then can turn into testosterone. The other thing I wanted to mention, DHEA does seem to have an independent uh, effect on libido. So if you're having libido issues, more so for females, then you may want to be taking DHEA for, other, for that reason, separate from what it's doing to the adrenal glands and what it's doing to testosterone. As I said, there's two main reasons for taking DHEA when you're on testosterone uh, replacement therapy. One is to support internal testosterone production, and the second is for adrenal support. For female, maybe the, you know there's that third option uh, for libido. But if you're taking it to support your overall androgen and testosterone production to help keep your testosterone, internal testosterone production going, it may not be providing as much benefit as you think. The main enzyme that regulates uh, testosterone production from uh, DHEA sulfate is 3-beta-hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase. And so if that enzyme is not working or slowed down for some reason, then you're not going to get much conversion of that DHEA sulfate into androstenedione, which then goes on to make testosterone. One of the things that regulates the that enzyme is the uh, binding of <clears throat> hormones like testosterone and dihydrotestosterone to the androgen receptor. When those are more bound, uh, the signal is to downregulate the 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase. Now the full functioning and regulation of that enzyme is not fully understood and there is some tissue specific changes that can occur in different areas as well, but uh, the main point being that if you know you have high to moderate levels of testosterone already, you may be that DHEA may not be getting converted into testosterone only. The other thing is that DHEA has alternative pathways that it can go down. It can get turned into uh, progesterone and estrogen as well. Those are both regulated by that same enzyme. So you're not always necessarily gonna get more testosterone from taking DHEA sulfate. So outside of maintaining testosterone levels and supporting testosterone levels, DHEA does seem to have an independent effect outside of testosterone, so it can help with energy levels and have effects in the brain in terms of libido and also supporting overall energy and, and drive and ambition. So um, from a symptom standpoint, it may actually help with some of those symptoms uh, like energy and libido independent of testosterone. You just have to keep in mind, is it actually helping these symptoms? So doing them both at once uh, may not be the best way to go about that. So coming back to the question, can I take testosterone and DHEA together? Of course you can, uh, but the question is why? So if your energy, libido, and everything is already like really good, it may not be worthwhile uh, to add that in to support 
more androgen, more anabolic effects, because the you know the testosterone itself is have is providing the bulk of that. Now you could can make the argument that you know making sure DHEA uh, is in there because it also supports androstenedione and other pre-testosterone hormones, uh, there's a, you know, a good argument for that. From a symptom standpoint, clinical standpoint, you want to, you know, always be asking the question, how much more benefit does this provide? So that's the way I look at it. Now, the other thing is you want to, in kind of figuring this out, you may want to also look at the actual DHEA sulfate levels. So there's a pretty broad range of DHEA sulfate levels, and they vary with age and gender. Uh, generally, we can say the range is about uh, 90 to 500, uh, and that's in, in a male from like age 30 to 50. And as you get older, the ranges are going to kind of come down a little bit, to maybe around 400 or so. So if your levels are below 250 uh, DHEA sulfate, you may want to add this to your regimen and see how much benefit it's adding. If it's not below 250, you know, I wouldn't uh, think that it's going to add much benefit, but then there's always the clinical aspect of, you know, not knowing necessarily how all these things work at this point. You know, a lot of this is not fully studied, so you may, you may have more benefit in one person and not the other. So it's always worth a try if you're not getting all the energy and the uh, libido standards that you're used to. Okay, that concludes this video. Can I take testosterone and DHEA together? Hopefully that gives you a broader understanding of why one might consider taking DHEA and why you may not want to even think about it. Uh, if you like the video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember, if you do have uh, other questions, comments about this topic, please drop it in the comment section. I may do a separate video on that or I'll just answer your question. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.